So before I get into the video, I just want to run down how I made it. Uh, my pneumatic mech. This is basically just angle iron with holes in it, which makes it super easy to customize to whatever you want without having to know how to weld and things like that. So my mechanism is a lunger eventually. As you can see right now, it does go up, but the end goal is to have it go up and out because like I said, I have to add that one piece, but it is extremely easy to make and you can change this to be really whatever you want. And that's what makes this angle iron so special is because maybe after a year you decide, hey, I don't like this design, you can change it to a completely new one using the same materials. So for this project, you are going to need a arrangement of uh, angle iron. Um, I am using, this is four feet long. That's how I bought them, four feet long. And they are an inch and then I have inch and a half. I have a bunch of different types, um, mainly because as you can see down here, they fold into each other and then you just run a bolt through, which makes it super easy to connect them. You're also gonna need an assortment of nuts, bolts, uh, wrenches, uh, safety goggles. Um, you're coming over here, you will need something to cut it um, and some type of grinder that you can use to smooth it after you cut it. So that is why these safety goggles are necessary. Like I said, assortment of nuts. I'll have everything that I use linked in the description. And a tool set is helpful just because then you can have everything on deck for what you're gonna need. Now, as far as the pneumatics go, I have a quarter inch uh, pneumatic air tubing, a assortment of pneumatic quick connects. And these are kind of cool. They control the speed of the air, which can help slow it down and speed it up. Kind of cool. Like I said, an assortment of quick connects. And then you're gonna need the cylinder and my control box, which has the solenoid in it and the wireless trigger, which is what triggers the solenoid. And that's triggered by just these controllers right here. I'll show you the inside of that later. But yeah, this project is super easy. Um, I have a lot of weight on it purely because before I added these um, air speed controllers, it was super aggressive, so after adding those, I could probably actually take away pretty much all that weight. And with a setup like this, you can build any pneumatic mech that you want, purely because of how versatile this angle iron is. As you can see, we just screwed nuts, cut some pieces together. Even the base is just all screwed together, and it made this project so much more streamlined than having to actually weld things together. All right, so digging into my control box, I will take off the lid here. This is just a um, waterproof enclosure I got off Amazon that has a wireless trigger in it and the solenoid. So as you can see, I have it labeled that this tube goes to the top of the cylinder, this goes to the bottom of the cylinder, and that this switch needs to be lined up with that arrow. I have my DC 12 volt uh, control, no, DC 12 volt adapter that goes into the wireless uh, trigger that is wired up to the solenoid valve. And then I have that all running out of these ports, which makes this pretty much waterproof. There's the exhaust valves on the solenoid, and this is all just triggered by these controllers right here. So this is pretty simple. I will have a wiring diagram posted. I'll post a YouTube video showing how I wired this, and I'll have a diagram in that video if you want to learn more about that. And without further ado, here is a demo of my pneumatic mechanism. Um, right now I have it running on 100 PSI, which is a little overkill, but yeah. And as you can see, it has that slow release there due to the um, airflow control valves. Here's another angle for a demonstration. I hope you guys enjoyed that very basic overview of how to make pretty much any pneumatic mechanism. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.